because you're a fellow male. Okay. Thank I will you guarantee for including you've me gone through group. something like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, backstory. My kid, I know I've talked about it, but my kid has a gizmo watch, like little mm-hmm. $10 a month thing. We can ping her real lockdown, whatever. This thing is over two years old now. And Fisher price would be a defining way to, to establish the quality of this product. Right. I mean, it's like a hundred bucks at Verizon. It's designed to be effectively disposable. Yeah. <clears throat> It's coming to its end of life. It's to get this thing to charge, you have to. It's a proprietary charger with like these four little gold pins that move in sure. and out. And to get this thing on there just right, you need at least three gallons of holy water and probably a block of fermented cheddar. Like it is really yeah. tough to do. Understood. So I know you're talking me into your daughter getting an Apple Watch, but please continue. Also, as a proprietary connector. Yes. Anyway. So, anyways, <laughs> so my wife and I have a. Yep. 98% of nights we take a walk like two, three miles by ourselves and just whatever. And my wife's like, look, this is what we should do. We should just go get uh, for Christmas this year. We'll just go get um, new Apple watches or a new Apple watch or whatever and just give her to that. And that'll be your Christmas gift. I'm like, look, I am not spending four ninety nine on this thing for my kid. And like, no, I go through like this whole right, spiel of like, Apple watches is what you would do. like not doing that. Like that is yep. way too much money for a kid's watch. And like, she let me do this whole thing. And she goes, Here's what I wanted you to do is go buy yourself a new Apple Watch and right. give her your old one. Exactly. Like, yeah. No, that might, that's sure. Of course. Oh, yeah. That, that would make. Now, does your daughter have an iPhone? No, she does not. But apparently now you can, oh, at least iPhone. on Verizon, just get an Apple Watch with a phone number not linked to a phone. No, but I thought you had to sync with an iPhone. I, I, like the she app. hasn't. Uh, there's some way to do this because my nephew some, has this. Look and, into this because there's a rumor or something that it either did maybe just happen or is coming to the iPad, I think. That would look into solve that. all I, the problems. I, but yeah, yeah, and that might be happening as soon as next month. Uh, but I don't know a lot about that. You Look look into that because yeah. that might solve that problem. Nicely. That's where we'll probably end up. So anyways, my wife was just like, I just wanted you to go buy yourself a new one. <laughs> like, right. Yeah, I, no, that's the, I mean... All right, my cat has come over looking for pets. Oh, anyways, it is Monday. Uh, biggest launch in Xbox history starting later this week, depending on if you do or do biggest not have. Biggest launch in Xbox history. Wow. In recent history, for sure. I mean, since Halo Infinite, because Redfall was whatever. <laughs> Redfall. Yeah, uh, Halo Infinite was whatever, unfortunately. I don't know how yeah. you bungle something like that. Oh, wait, the latest Indiana Jones movie was the same thing. So I... Yeah, I don't know. That's too bad. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. When we'll is it happening? Tuesday, Friday? No. It? So it's dumb the way that this is happening. I think yeah. you can start playing it as early as Friday, okay. depending on like if you have if you like game pre-ordered or... whatever you want to call those things. If you have Game Pass, you don't get to play it till next week. But if you hmm. bought like the whatever upgrade thing, then you can start playing. I think Friday or something. When do you um? When do you get to play it if you have a PlayStation, Brad? Um, how does that work? So that's Friday. I think it's 8 p.m. <laughs> Eastern time. I see. <clears throat> is uh, the expectation for that. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. We'll Good. see. I don't know. Isn't it Labor Day mo- this weekend? Mm-hmm. Next weekend, yep. Yeah. Or next weekend. This coming weekend, however you want to phrase it. A it week is. from today is another way to mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. establish mm-hmm. the date. <laughs> The probably, yeah, it's probably other ways too, but yes, it is uh, coming up finally. Hold on, did you do anything this weekend? Because Microsoft sure Dude, didn't. I am, except for two and a half hours out in the hot sun at a classic car show, I spent Ooh. literally the entire daytime of every day this weekend, including Friday, actually Friday afternoon, working on this di- digital decluttering thing where I have got all mm. this crap archived up in my NAS and OneDrive, and I've been, I. I can't stop thinking about this. I I want to stop writing about it, but I'm actually going to write something else about it today. But basically, I I think the OneDrive part of it is kind of done. Mm -hmm. Um, I I have uploaded 200 videos to YouTube that used to be clogging up my storage for no reason I can think of um, as part of this, right? Mm -hmm. I've completely organized my uh, filing folder structure, whatever you want to call it. So that's all there. It's like exactly what it needs to be. But now I've got, 
Oh, boy. I mean, I back up some, I, I'm like compulsive enough to back everything up a million times every mm -hmm. single time I use a computer, blah, 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 whatever. And then I wipe it out. So I copy that thing. It's like loose files on my desktop back in the day or whatever article things I was working on, whatever it was, phone backups of all my photos, every one of these things a million times. And then wipe out the computer, clean install, blah, blah, blah. So today, these things are much more structured. I wrote an article about this recently about how you can, um, you know, if you use OneDrive or whatever storage thing, mm -hmm. never lose data. And after, so I don't worry about the stuff anymore. You made the comment, I believe it was you. Yeah, you said something like this is something our kids are never going to have to deal with because yeah. when you grow up in a world of smartphones and all this stuff, this stuff, it's all, today it's automatic. Yep. But what I'm dealing with is the, and I have a really good file system for me today that work, makes sense and, and is great. But it's the, <laughs> it's the stuff from, I would call it my super site days. So I would say 20, well, it goes back into there a little bit. So 20, let's call it 2012 and back, you know, and I have a 30 year work archive. I have a lifetime of personal photos and some personal documents of various kinds, you know, from over the years, but God damn dude. And I, I, I bet on that. I have to copy stuff slowly from the NAS. I have an ancient NAS. So you're like, if you had a NAS today, you could remote desktop into it. It would be a Linux desktop environment, and I could mm -hmm. just work with the files right there. Mm -hmm. That would be ideal, but I have to copy them. It's so slow, dude. Like, you can't work on the NAS through, like, File Explorer, you, you know, remotely. Like, you can. I just, you can't because it's too slow. Like, if you were to copy a folder on the NAS to a different location on the NAS, it would involve the local computer. So, you, you know what I mean? Like, it, yeah. it basically, you know, it's like this. So... Anyway, it's a very slow process, but um, I spent, I had to move my la the laptop I was working on for this part of it into the room next to me. I ran the 25-foot Ethernet cable I bought from the house when I was down in the cellar mm -hmm. and to speed it up, and I got 60 gigabytes of stuff synced back up to OneDrive um, on Sunday. It ran all day. That's all it did. It was just sitting there with, I put, turned, you know, uh, so for anybody who's wondering what the hell just happened, don't worry, I am too. My whole computer did the, look like the, the GPU driver just crashed. The whole screen mm -hmm. just went blank. Uh, X split or Stream Deck no longer wants to function. Oh, there, now it is functioning. We're back. Oh. Maybe we are. Who knows? But uh, I had to reboot and, you know, just another yeah. manic Monday. God knows where we were in that terrible story of boringness. So I'll just wrap it up by saying I'm still working on the backup, restore, mm -hmm. whatever it's called. Oh, I had a great joke lined up. That you need a new NAS and you can name the NAS, not a NAS hole. I'm not going to do that. Um, <laughs> it was just a suggestion. <laughs> yeah. I'm curious. I'm going to, the thing I write about this, I, I, I do want to know what people have to say about this. I'll just say the, the two things that I've, I've, I've researched this a little bit. They're probably going to go with a Synology dual bay kind of thing. But there are NASs, like I said, that you can, you know, remote into mm -hmm. with desktop, which is what I want. But also there are NASs that have like an HDMI port on it. You can actually just plug it into a TV and play video off, play yeah. media off of it. Now, I know you can stream over the network, but um, that's actually kind of desirable to go right off the device, you know? So um, what you kind of need is like a home center that stores media, maybe a media home center. You know, yeah, yes, but it should have a remote, like a 10-foot UI, mm. um, so you don't have to use a mouse. Maybe some sort of interface that's designed to also that mm -hmm, could be mm -hmm. easily scrolled sp specifically vertically. <clears throat> right. Yeah. Right, 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 right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'm surprised mm. Microsoft never did this. God. That, it oh, still kills me. started on the home, uh, Windows Home Server, Essential Server, blah, 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 wormholes I went down uh, as well as Media Center, media, Portable Media Center, Media Center Extender, mm -hmm. Media Center for Xbox, you know, the blah, 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 whatever. So, dear God. I had God. the whole thing. Just, I know. again, a few years early. Yeah. Yeah. It's too bad because they could have and should have um, migrated that thing to a cloud solution thing, you know, with a little box. Well, yeah, some sort of cloud hockey streaming. Hockey looking something, something. <laughs> box. Maybe it connects to an Xbox controller. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. Seems like a dead market. Who cares? As I cry myself to sleep. I know. We all do.